is going on guys welcome back to let's go pikachu so we just turned bill back into a human and he's probably pretty stoked about that he also gave us an ss ticket so we're going on a cruise so that's pretty damn exciting but we got some stuff to do before then like we have to beat misty uh, before we leave here though i think if we click on the old computer here it will show us um like the eevee evolutions 145 140 okay wait this is actually the I think these are the legendary birds. Here I am at the Sea Palm Islands in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. Yeah, so he's talking about Articuno. Came across some rapids underground that went were too fast to swim across. I was exploring that area when suddenly I was hit by a blast of freezing cold. It was as if I was stuck in a blizzard. It got so cold I began to black out as my consciousness faded. I saw a pair of shiny wings over the waves. Could that have been the legendary Pokemon Articuno? When I came to, I was lying on the ground outside of the cave for some reason. I need to practice my swimming so that next time I can capture Articuno for sure. Okay, so that's kind of cool. He tells you a little bit about his journeys finding these guys. Here I am at the abandoned power plant in my search for Pokemon I've never seen before. I had no idea you could reach this place by swimming from that spot on Route 10. As I was exploring, one of the Pokeballs lying around suddenly attacked me. It made a huge explosion and knocked me out. I do remember seeing some jagged looking wings as I blacked out. This dude be blacking out a lot, man. You gotta stop drinking, Bill. When I came to, I found myself lying outside the power plant. As soon as I became able to withstand those explosions, I'm going to catch that as soon as I become able. Okay, cool. So the last one we'll be talking about, Moltres here, Victory Road in search for my Pokemon. Seems you can't get very far without doing something about the stone walls in the way. As I was exploring the cave, I saw the most beautiful Pokemon. It was so beautiful that I got overwhelmed and passed out. Yo, th this, is a, this is a problem here, Bill. What, what are you doing, buddy? Could that have been the legendary Pokemon, Moltres? When I came to, I was all alone. Next time, I gotta stay conscious so I can capture Moltres for sure. <laughs> that might be a good idea to stay conscious. Alright, so let's head back here. As there's actually there's, there's a coach trainer right here. We can uh, we can destroy you. I'm gonna put McNugget in front because he is actually about to evolve. So in one level we're gonna have ourselves a Pidgeotto. This area is popular for dates. I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want me to battle you? Sure. So she's a strong independent coach trainer who don't need no man, and I admire that. Let's see what you got for me though. They usually just have one Pokemon. Yep, she does have uh. One Machop, so that's perfect for McNugget here. The old chicken about to destroy you even though we're a pigeon. Alright, catch this wing attack, bruh. Look at Machop's little little abs. And his little ribs. <laughs> so wing attack is almost a 2 hit KO. Maybe we might get lucky here. It hit me with a seismic toss, so it tosses me way the hell up to the damn moon. <laughs> and that actually looks pretty cool. So Seismic Toss always does the same amount of damage as the user's HP, so it does 16 damage. We can take another one here. Yeah, Pidgey. Get it, boy. And we'll finish you off with a quick attack. Not that it really matters, but there we go. Your Machop is now dead. And not the most difficult coach trainer when you got a beast-ass Pidgey like your boy. Am I the one who is coach? Yes, uh, yes you were. Well, I think she gives you some stuff. Haven't had fun like that in a long time. Here, take this. We got TM15 for Seismic Toss. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Deals damage equal to the level of the Pokemon that uses the move. Nice. Anyway, let's continue. We're going to head back. So last episode, we found a lady that was telling, telling us that if we had at least 30 Pokemon, she'll give us a Bulbasaur. So I think I actually need like three more Pokemon to be able to get that Bulbasaur. So we're going to go catch ourselves a couple mons here. And then actually, I think that's how many. Oh, Beedrill found something. Uh, but let's check out the Pokemon box here. Yes, yeah, so we do actually need just three more. So let's see what's going on up here. What you got for me, buddy? Forkstop found something in the plants, and it was a raspberry. So we'll always take a free raspberry. Thank you very much, sir. And all right, so before we take on Misty, we are going to go catch some Pokemon. It'll give us a little bit more experience. We do need to train up Beedrill, and also our Clefairy is a little bit weak too, so... We don't really need to heal yet. I love how Beedrill flies in front of you. Look at how cool he is. <laughs> Alright, so let's just head over to the grass over here. This is probably the best place for us to catch something. Should be nice and easy. Oh, Beedrill's stuck. And he teleports over. Okay, so... There's actually nothing over here. What, what the hell? Oh, okay. False alarm, there's a Spearow. Did have a hard time catching Spearow the last time, but we're gonna give you a try. It's a fucking... Oh, I launched it past it? How, how the hell did that work? Okay, we get an excellent toss this time. Yes, Spiro. Come with me, buddy. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got it. One down, two more to go, and then we're getting ourselves a good old Bulbasaur. I don't think I'm going to use Bulbasaur on the team. 
Mostly just because I kind of want to use Oddish as my grass type, so it will be cool to get Bulbasaur though. We're out here trying to catch them all, so we're gonna we're gonna get every Pokemon possible. All right, Spearow's been caught, and there's a Rattata. Rattata, we'll get you, buddy. Everybody's favorite, Ratatouille. And another excellent toss. Yeah, your boy's on his tosses today. And we have got it. Not too shabby. Nice and easy. One more to go. Also, another feature that I haven't really tested out here is sending is transferring Pokemon to the Professor. Ooh, Humphrey trying to learn Razor Leaf. Hell yeah, buddy. Um, we'll get rid of Absorb. But yeah, like I said, after this, I'm going to go ahead and transfer a lot of my duplicates to the Professor. It works like Pokemon Go in that you get candies for it, but the candies are actually uh, a little bit different. I believe they're, they're kind of like EV items, so you get like health candy and shit like that. So we'll kind of see how that works, but one more Spearow here. Let me catch you. Nice little great toss. I'm a fucking catching master out here. All right. Spearow's been caught, so we'll transfer all these to the professor here and see what we can uh, manage to get. McNugget grows to level 18. Yes. We are about to evolve. Yeah. Getting ourselves a big old chicken. Hell yeah. So we'll send this thing into the freaking galaxy of space and uh now he evolves yeah so that's our uh that right there's our pidgeotto and that's like it's pretty good time we'll nice and easy for uh for the old gym here pokemon is full of vitality constantly flies around its large territory in search of prey so we're not gonna have too much trouble battling misty obviously since we have a, uh, a Pikachu with freaking Zippy Zap. Also, we have a an Oddish, so shouldn't be too difficult, but let's go over this way now that we have 30 Pokemon. Also, hold on. Let's actually... No, we'll wait till we get the Bubble Sword to do it. I don't know if, that, if it matters if we already have transferred the Pokemon or not, but so I believe this is the house. What's happening, Bulba Lady? I'm taking care of injured Pokemon here. Bubble Sword is fully recovered, so I'd like to give this Pokemon to a trainer who's caught a lot of Pokemon and I can trust. You can trust me, lady. So I've caught exactly 30. I will take care of your Bulbasaur. Hell yeah. And we got Bulbasaur. So I think it'll just go right to the Pokemon box. Sweet. Look at this little cabbage. It can go days without eating a single morsel. The bulb on its back, it stores energy. Cool. So tuck that into the Pokemon box. And let's take a look at this thing here. I do think I'm going to keep Oddish instead. But still cool getting a Bulbasaur. Where you at, buddy? There he is. Alright, so let's check your summary out. It is Brave Nature. It has Tackle, Growl, Vine Whip, and Leaf Seed. Not too shabby. It's kind of funny they give you a Bulbasaur right before the Grass Gym. Uh, let's, let's click on this Clefairy. Let's go to Send to Professor. And then I believe we can... Yeah, then we can click a whole bunch of them. So we only need one Clefairy. So I'll pretty much just be sending all my doubles here. I'll keep like one Spearow. Also, we'll keep like one Rat. And... uh Let's transfer all these bad boys. So we click Y to send. And let's kind of see how this works. So it's, this is a pretty cool little mechanic here. You got a message back from the professor. Thanks for sending along those Pokemon. They will help a good deal with my research. Would you look at this? You've sent me five Spearow. That's it. Thank you. And some candy for all your help getting me your Pokemon to study. Candies make your Pokemon stronger. So use them on a Pokemon you'd like to train well. So we get six Quick Candy. Quick Candy L. And uh, Health Candy. I mean a large Quick Candy. Sent 11 Pokemon so far. Very cool. And, uh, alright. So let's go ahead and take on the gym here. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. We do need to heal up. I'm probably going to end up grinding up Beedrill here. He needs some levels. Also Clefairy, but Beedrill's top priority because he is my fork and I love him. So let's see. Um, also, there's a... Somebody told me I think it's... Is it you? Trade your Rattata for my Rattata. Yes, yeah, so if we trade this lady, she has a little secret for us. So we'll give you... Our rats. I'm not really too worried about it. Look at that. It's actually, she gives you an Alolan Rattata. So, this lady spent some time in freaking Hawaii, came back to Kanto, and is just pimping off some Alolan Rattatas, which is actually pretty cool. So, I think this might be the only way to get one of these things. I don't really know if, are all the Alolan Pokemon in this game? Who knows? But, we got ourselves a Rattata with a mustache. That's pretty cool. I'm not really going to use this thing, but it's still cool to have a or more rare Rattata. Alola region. Some Pokemon have different appearances and even types depending on where they were born, even if they are the same species. Sweet. 
So we'll go ahead and get a nice little heal up here. How cool would it be if Nurse Joy's Chansey could be shiny? That would be, that would be hilarious. I would be so jealous. I also, I really do like how they have like the, the, the 8-bit sprites for the Pokemon that come up on there. So damn nostalgic. All right, Pokemon are all better. And it is now time to go beat some water type gym leader ass. Better now, so we'll just leave Beedrill in front and let us do it. What's going on here? Okay, Jim's looking pretty sweet. Got some diving boards with them. There's actually like some sketchy paths right under it, so. Seems a little dangerous. Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City. Jim is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to challenge her. Okay. Show me a Pokemon at least level 15. Okay, so they, they give you this, this weird little... You have to have a Pokemon at least level 15. They really just don't want you losing. So, <laughs> Alright, let's see what you got. Are you going to jump off? Yeah! You get a 10 out of 10. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. You know, lady, for some reason, I doubt it. But, uh, we got Beauty Lily. Why aren't you called Swimmer Lily? Okay, well, you have a Goldeen. And that's actually probably not too good for Beedrill here, because I think these things do have Peck. So, oh wait, no, we don't have Beedrill in front. We have fucking Pidgeotto's in front. I, I don't know why I thought Beedrill was following me. Okay, well, you know what, McNugget, that's actually, that, that's fine. We put Pidgeotto in front because of the, um, the coach trainer. Okay, quick attack, that's fine. You about to catch these wings, boy. Okay, almost a 2 hit KO. Level 16 Goldeen. It would have been really cool if they made this gym kind of like the anime where like they're actually battling in the water but I could see how that would be a little bit difficult but yeah, it still would be sweet. Instead though this Goldeen is just sitting here floating on on the air I, I guess. Okay. Well that's a dead ass Goldeen. And not too shabby. As long as we don't come across more Goldeens we should be able to train up Beedrill here. Bubblegum goes, goes to 14. Not too shabby. $320. Alright. Let's um let's put Beedrill here. Here you go, Fork. I didn't forget about you, buddy. Don't you worry. Alright, so you can actually avoid these trainers. Um, but I'd, I'd rather battle them just for the experience. She's beautiful. Okay, it's a little conceited, but alright, we'll let it we'll let it slide this time, lady. Beauty Violet. She's just got one Pokemon and it's a Shelter. Okay. We should be able to handle Shelter. I honestly I really like Shelter as a Pokemon. I'm gonna stick his little tongue out. You're adorable, buddy. Give you a nice little twin needle. You are pretty defensive, though. It actually has ice shards, so it hits me with that priority. Uh, doesn't do very much, but at least it, it stabs, so it's kind of scary. And twin needle doesn't do too much, but we could get a poison. Nope. Okay, no poison. That's fine. We need to hit this bitch like two more times. Doesn't ice shard this time. And we do get the poison on the first twin needle. Yes. And all right, so one more should do the trick. Goes ahead and spray some water at me, which for some reason hurts. And you about to be a dead shelter. You gonna be somebody's fucking clam chatter later, boy. Okay, uh, Ice Shard knocks us down to half, so that is kind of annoying. But you are dead. Just right on your face, and you're dead. So, rather than running back to the Poké Center, I'm probably just gonna use the damn potion. Because I am lazy as shit. Get 320 bucks, thank you so much for that. Now let's go ahead and hop in the bag, find some potions, medicine pocket. Only got nine potions, but that's alright, we'll give it to Fork. There you go, friend, you're about full. And let's continue. What, I wonder what happens if, hold on, I'm going to, let's put Charmeleon following us, we'll take you out of Pokeball. Let's see what he says about the water around him. What's up, buddy? He's like, what the fuck, man, I'm gonna die in here. Eyeing the diving board. I would not recommend taking a dive, Charmeleon, because you will literally kill yourself. Alright, so they all hit us with the same front flip. There's Misty just hanging out with her clam. Jamming out with her clam out, per se. So we got Beauty Daisy here, just one Pokemon. And it's a seal. Okay. The happiest little lad ever. Here we go, Forky. Uh, so I don't think this thing has too much it can do to us. We'll just twin needle you. Get clubbed by this stinger boy. Okay, it does about half almost. Headbutt would actually really hurt from this thing. Look at its little spike on its head. Ouch, bro. You just fucked me up with that. And it has Aqua Jet. Okay. So they're hitting us with that priority. Aqua Jet actually does a lot. 
Don't really want to take another one. I need Beedrill to stay alive. So, that almost, that does knocks it down quite a bit. Let's actually, let's switch out here. I don't want Beedrill to die. Let's see if, eh, Bubblegum probably can't do it. Let's just go into Humphrey. Test out our new Razor Leaf here. Absolutely cut this motherfucker up with some leaves. Angry Radish comes out, takes a head, but still probably going to do a lot. Okay, not too much. And, alright. Let's see how you like these sharp-ass leaves. As it does get an <laughs> Aqua Jet off right before it dies. But now you are dead. So, now we get to take on Misty. I am actually going to go back and heal for this one. Probably would be a good idea. Pikachu is going to come in clutch. Oddish is as well. Beauty Daisy been defeated. Your Pokemon totally deserve a gold medal. Thank you. You know, I thought so too. I appreciate that. Alright, so let's run our asses back. We go get one heal up. And then we are ready for that home Misty. Hello, it's me again. I am back. She's probably like, yo, you gotta stop coming in here, man. You just fucking your Pokemon up all day. Pikachu just hops onto the old counter. And we are good to go. I forget what level Oddish evolves. I think it's like 22, something like that. So Oddish is kind of not that useful early on, but once it evolves, then we can get a Leaf Stone, then we can have ourselves a Vile Plume. Someday we'll get Sludge Bomb, and we're just gonna be beasting. All right, we are back. Um, I'll probably lead off for Oddish. Lead off with Oddish. I think she has level 18, so Humphrey's probably about an even matchup here. Here you go, Humphrey. Now's your time to shine, buddy. What's up? It's Misty. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. Just calls herself the world-famous beauty. Okay, <laughs> well, let's do it. So our second gym should not be too difficult. Although now I probably just jinxed myself. So she has two Pokemon. She leads with a Psyduck, actually. Okay, I kind of thought it was going to be Staryu and Starmie, but she does have a Psyduck like she does in the anime. Young headache out here. Looking just confused over there. We'll go for... Oh, you know what? This thing probably actually just has confusion in Oddish. This is not a good matchup for you, buddy. So, for that reason, we're going to switch into Bolt. Being Poison type, not that good against Psyduck. Even though it's not even Psychic type, it does get access to confusion. So, we'll bring in Pika here in his cute little jacket. As it does have confusion, so get predicted, boy. Alright, now we'll just zip zap the hell out of you and absolutely obliterate this duck right here. Young fake Bolt tackle. And... Jesus, you couldn't even see its health go down. What the hell just happened to this thing? My god. Alright. So, next is going to be her Starmie. Cool. Uh, we'll switch out here. You know, we could probably try to use Fork. Although, it's, uh, it's probably going to be high, too high of a level. Let's go into Humphrey. Humphrey's got this shit. We resist its water moves. I don't know what else it has. I don't think it gets access to any ice, so we should be good. Here we go, Oddish. The boy is ready. So, I've always really liked Starmie. Look at that. Just such a cool design. I love it. So, it's going to go ahead and throw some stars at us. A move that never misses. We take that easily, though. And Razor Leaf, come on, crit for me, please. Damn it. It's going to take us a couple hits here. You know what? Let's go for a Sleep Powder. I kind of just want to see what Sleep Powder looks like. If we can manage to hit this damn thing. Throw some more stars at me. There's a little bit uh, above half, so. Put you right to sleep. You don't even have any eyes, so we can't tell if you're really sleeping or not, but... We're just going to hope that you actually are. Just got a couple more razor leaves while you're sitting over here having a nice little nap. Should do the trick. Yeah. Alright, no crits so far with freaking razor leaf. Come on. Stay asleep. Yeah. Yo, Otis just showed you who is boss. And we have done it. Defeated Misty. He wasn't too bad at all. I'm getting a fuck ton of experience as we go to level 19. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Getting that much closer to evolving. Mystic Burns, we're level 18. There we go. Wow, you're too much. Yep, I'm aware. I am a bit much. Alright, so, alright, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Thank you. We look down on our Pikachu, we give her a little high five with her tail. Hell yeah. You got a Cascade badge from Misty. A Cascade badge. Makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers obey you. And you can have my favorite TM. She gives us, ooh, TM29 for Scald. Yo, that's good as hell. 
That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so that was easy. Now we can just go ahead and I believe the next order of business is to go to that one house that's gotten like attacked by the Team Rocket dude who stole their dig TM. So it's just right up there. The police officer was actually blocking it, but I assume she'll be gone now that we beat the gym leader. So step aside, we can handle it. Do need to get a heal though. Really wish they would make it quicker to heal Pokemon, to be honest. Although it is a pretty cool little animation. I do like it. Alright. Pokemon should be all better now. And let's switch up the lead here. Who should we put in front? Uh, we'll probably just go with Fork. Fork needs some loving. Alright. So let's see here if that's... Officer Jenny is gone now. Oh well. Better now. Oh, there's a Squirtle over here. Hey, give me back my Pokeball. That Squirtle's just up to no good. Hoodlum Squirtle. And he runs off. How can I do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Oh, okay. Well, the Squirtle was a perfect distraction. So now <laughs> we can go see what's going on in here. How fucked up is this place? Oh, okay. She's just sitting here. She's like, yep, yeah, this is fine. This is totally fine. Detective Pikachu is on the case, though. Here we go, buddy. What you, what you see in here? Broke the damn table. There's big old footprints everywhere. And there's also a raspberry. And just a damn hole in the wall. Pika, Pika. There we go, buddy. Good good work. I don't know what you said, but thank you. What's going on over here? Look at what Team Rocket has have done to my house. And it's all my TM, the one that can teach Pokemon like Mankey and Sandshrew the move Dig. Well, shit. What do you got to say? Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into something no good. Well, I assume he's probably just hanging out right here. So we'll see what this, uh, this guy's up to. Oh, okay. Nice hiding spot you got, buddy. Way to stay just right at the scene of the crime. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh, me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? You know, considering you're wearing the whole get-up of Team Rocket, you're probably not an innocent bystander, buddy. So, Team Rocket grunt here. Has got Eradicate. Okay, just one Pokemon. About to catch these hands. We haven't seen Eradicate yet, though, so that's kind of cool. Beedrill's, I don't think, going to be able to do too much to this thing. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. We'll try to Twin you. We're only level 15. It's level 15 as well, so... At least we're evenly matched. And, man, Quick Attack does way too much. Twin Needle does do more, though. So it's almost a 2-hit KO. Oh, we get the Poison, though, which is going to knock it down. So one more Twin Needle should be able to do the trick here. There we go, Fork. Forking him up, buddy. One more of these, and it is just gonna quick attack again, so no crit, please. Yeah, we're good. Fork just coming at you. And that is a dead, overgrown rat. Oh, it fucking lived it, never mind. But the poison is gonna do the trick, so. It is dead. The poison, the health goes down so slow. But, alright. Fork is gonna grow to level 16. There you go, buddy. We're getting you in fighting shape. Don't you worry. And we learned Fury Attack, so... There's another bug move for us. Bolt grows to 19. Stop! I give up! Yeah, you fucking better, mate. How are you gonna just have one Pokemon? Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. So we get TM 10 for Dig. Uh, we can go try to give it back to the, this guy in the house, but I'm pretty sure he's not gonna let us take it. Or, no, he's not gonna let us give it to him. He's pretty much just like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. You achieved the TM. Thank you very much. You can keep that, though. Decided to take my time training Diglett and have them learn Dig that way. Well, alrighty then. So your house was robbed for nothing. You didn't even want the damn TM. But, alright. So, we are officially done with the city. Now we can head down this way. Um, we can't go over here because there's actually a cut tree in the freaking way. So, um, we're going to just head over yonder where we should be able to find... Some new Pokemon where the daycare center is, so let's go down this way. And so this is Route 5. What do you got over here? Oh, there's a Growlithe. We just landed on it. I'm so sorry, buddy. I just landed on this damn Growlithe. Okay. Look at how cute he is. He runs up. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give you a Raspberry. We're for sure going to catch you. I don't know if I'm going to end up using you on the team because I do have a fire type. A pretty damn good one with uh, Charmeleon. So. But I am going to catch him all. So we'll use a Great Ball on you. Oh, he fucking jumped right at the right time. You bastard. Alright. No little, no message of encouragement there. But, 
Please let me catch you. Yeah, we got ourselves a Growlithe. Hell yeah. All right, you caught a Growlithe. So we got 65 experience points. Bubblegum gr does grow to level 15, so you're getting up there. What do you say about you and the Pokedex? A Pokemon with a friendly nature, however, it will bark fiercely at anything invading its territory. Very cool. Tuck that into the old Pokemon box, and we shall continue. Well, there's a couple of Rattatas. I totally thought that my Charmeleon was a wild Charmeleon. There's got to be something different in this grass, right? Just, just rats and, just rats and Growlithe, huh? Oh, it's a Jigglypuff. Hey, buddy, get your puffy ass over here. A little marshmallow-looking ass. All right, encountered a wild Jigglypuff. We'll just use a Great Ball on you as well. You get a great toss on you. So come join the squad. Even though you're just probably gonna stay in the freaking box forever, I'm not gonna use Jigglypuff, but still cool to catch some new shit. 121 experience, that's a lot. McNugget grows to 19. All right, so we'll read your deck's entry. Uses its cute round eyes to entrapture its foe. It then sings a pleasing melody that lulls the foe to sleep. <laughs> Such a weird little guy, okay. So there's just a Pidgey over there, another Jiggly. But here we have the daycare center. I don't think I'm gonna leave anybody here, but we'll see what it kind of looks like in here. We can't actually breed in this game, which is unfortunate. Look at the little ditto plush. I love it. Hey there, the name's Mr. Hyper. Listen closely now, my young friend. If you ever achieve the title of champion, be sure to come back here and see me. I'll be waiting. Well, will do, buddy. we Will do. So then over this way, we can go... We can't go through here yet, I don't think. Because these, these guards are like... You, you thirsty? Take duty very seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty. Wish I had some tea to drink. Hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Well, he's just angry because he's thirsty. And he's not going to let us go. Unless if we bring him some freaking tea. So we got to go to the underground path, which I think is... Oh, there's a Pokeball here. Found an ether, so that's pretty useful. Anything in this bush, Charmeleon? Nope, apparently not. All right, so there's another Pokeball. And hey, look at it. It's Boris. Boris is just chilling there as we get three Nana Berries. Not bad. What are you doing, Boris? Oh, hey, Hayden. What's happening, Bor? Seems like we can't pass through the gate there. The guy's just freaking thirsty. But the underground path should take us to Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Yes, it is. Huh? Hold still for one sec, Hayden. Okay. What the hell are you doing? Are you gonna kiss me? Don't do it. What the hell just happened? I was wondering what the sparkly thing was. It was stuck in your hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> We got a revive from Boris. Okay. Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine too. Got two revives from Boris. Hell yeah. Maybe those will help you when you take on the next gym. So, Boris is a real nice guy. He's. Oh, I just mashed A, but we do give him an SS ticket since we got two of them. So, there you go, friend. Hey, are you sure I can have this? You know, I'm definitely going, right? Where'd you get this anyway? Eek, you got it from that talking Pokemon. Yeah, he was actually was not a Pokemon. He was a person after all. Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, just uh, forget about that whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on ahead and see you there. Okay, so he's going to head into the spooky underground path. So it's Cerulean City to Vermilion. Let's go see what's going on in here. I believe we're going to find a couple of hidden items. Do you trade? Uh, when my Pokemon is on my shoulder, it will let me know when it's with its tail when there's an item on the ground nearby. Oh, okay, so that's how this, this is going to work, huh? Apparently going to let me know with its tail. Oh, okay, so there's already just an item right here. It's a repel. So apparently it's dark in here and people will be just dropping their shit. I like how they even got the two stripes like in the original games. Pretty badass. Well, there's another item here. It's a lure. Sweet. Call ourselves a lure. And, uh... That's apparently all there is for us. What are you doing? Lighting's not, the lighting's not great in the underground path. People drop a lot of things down there, I right hear. Yep, that is that is true. Alright. So, we've arrived at a new route. And this is going to be... Route 6. So I'm sure there will be a whole bunch of... Okay, there's, so there's always a Pokeball over here. It is a Super Potion. Hey, we finally get Super Potions. Jesus, it's about damn time. What else is going on over here? So why couldn't this guard just let me pass? He knows that there's a freaking underground path right there. 
Is there any cool wild Pokemon over here? Got ourselves a guard spec. Friggin' useless. There's also a gentleman right there. We'll battle him eventually. Looks like there's like some smoke coming up from the grass right there. Weird. Well, there's just a Rattata. There's a whole bunch of trainers to battle on this route. So, we are going to wait till next time though, guys. We're going to grind up on this route. Hopefully catch some new stuff here. How you feel about it, Charmeleon? Oh, he's stoked. Called out to Bolt. <laughs> Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And uh, there's a freaking Psyduck coming at me. Oh my god, Jesus. Stop. <laughs>